And welcome back. I'm Cali Surfer, and this is CTF Walkthroughs. Today, we're going to attack a new walkthrough here. This is titled Eavesdropper. It's from Try Hack Me, and it's rated medium for difficulty. In today's walkthrough, we'll be using the tool PSPY or PS Spy. This is a very helpful tool that is used commonly on CTF challenges, and it allows us to snoop on system processes being run by all of the other users and the root user without needing pseudo permissions. So uh, we're going to identify a interesting command line and then we'll um, exploit that command line process being run over and over and extract the password that's actually obfuscated and redirect it into a new file on our frank directory. Uh, that way we can grab the pseudo password and then grab our root flag. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so I already downloaded the keys from this box and I'm just going to cat it out. We can see we have a private SSH key. And we just got our IP. So let's go ahead and SSH our way into the box. Okay, so we're in as Frank to the workstation. The first thing I notice here is that we're part of the pseudo group, but we don't know Frank's password, so we won't be able to do pseudo commands. So we know that we need to find Frank's password somehow. So because the box is titled eavesdropper, first I thought that I could poke around, see what kind of connections are going on and what kind of processes are running. It looks like I'm being cut off there on the right, so I might have to make this window bigger to see it. And we'll set up our transfer server here using a Python 3 simple HTTP server. We have all these files ready to transfer over. And today we'll be using the PSPY64 uh, binary. That's PSPY. It allows us to listen in without admin privileges or pseudo privileges to other activities on the machine from the same user. And so we can, we can execute this binary to actually listen in real time for things being typed on the command line by other users. So we'll transfer that over with wget. And we've got the GitHub page on the right here. So you can grab that for yourself if you don't already have it on your machine. And we brought it over. We'll chmod plus x that to make it executable and run it. And it just boots up right away and starts showing us commands. So we're just scanning for anything of interest here. And there it is, sudo cat at C shadow. So we have um, a sudo user trying to read the shadow file. And a sudo user wouldn't need to use sudo. So probably this is a different user using the command sudo to run it as user ID zero. 
So we're going to use now a simple bash script to effectively grab the input from the user when they type the password and then send it to a text file in our local frank home directory. This was the thing that really surprised me about this box uh, because I'd never seen this pspy binary before and I had no idea that with a simple bash script you could just grab a password from uh, someone else on the same machine. So here I'm just editing the path. So this is um, going to redirect the path variable to our home directory so that we can create a script with the name sudo. So when the other user types in sudo, they're actually running this script because it's in our frank directory. All right, so there's our command to modify the path variable. This is just kind of like um, Python library hijacking where you, um, you have a script with the same name as a standard command and it runs the script instead of the command. Same idea here, but uh, different context. So we added that path to the bash, uh, bash rc file. Here's our script. We're going to read the password, then echo it into a new, uh, a new file in our frank directory. So this attack relies on the fact that this other user on the box continuously runs the cat etsy shadow command. So we may have to wait a minute here and then we should see a new file pop up, password.txt. Shouldn't take more than a minute. There's our script again. And let's check. And there it is, password.txt. Let's cat that out. And sweet, it actually grabbed it twice because we, we use the double greater than sign for add a line. Um, so we can just sudo sue and then we're Yep, now we're root, and we can cat out our flag, and that brings us to the end of this box. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this CTF walkthrough. This, to me, was a really eye-opening uh, CTF because it shows how commands on the terminal are really not secure uh, because there are ways to, to grab the input on the terminal and output it into a different user's account using some of these tools and techniques. So that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, CTF Walkthroughs, for full-length walkthroughs and also for short videos uh, which introduce different concepts and tools in ethical hacking. All right, I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.